Hey guys, Spirit of the Law here. In this video, we're going to be talking about elephants. Over the years, the devs have clearly been trying to work them into the game more, expanding from simply the original War Elephant to then the Battle Elephant, Elephant Archer, Ballista Elephant, and most recently, the Armored and Siege Elephants. While that's still tied for the most unique elephant lines of any game in the franchise, we haven't had a new addition to the elephant roster in over a year, and it would be nice to pad our game's stats before AoE 3 inevitably gets another DLC, and could very well take the lead. The last year or two makes me a little nervous the devs feel they might be out of elephant unit ideas or have exhausted all the possibilities, which couldn't be further from the truth. To that end, I thought I'd help the devs out by putting together a list of a dozen or so potential elephant unit ideas for AoE 2, including some mock-up pictures and talk about what each could bring to the game. We'll start off with our first potential elephant addition, the Elephant Scout. With the Camel Scout given to Gujars, this one feels like a pretty natural extension. They'd obviously be the strongest out of the scouts in battle, but with eagles and camels already beating regular scout cavalry 101 in Dark Age, that's something that isn't unprecedented. The obvious criticism is elephants are slow, so it would make for terrible scouts, but that's a bit of a misconception. Your average adult elephant can sprint up to 25 miles per hour, very comparable to the fastest human sprinters on Earth. If a guy dressed in an eagle costume can be a scout, I think we can suspend our disbelief that an elephant rider could do the same thing, probably with even better line of sight. This would work well for any of the existing elephant civilizations, or even be a prerequisite for the battle elephant. Another bit of low-hanging fruit that would be a safe addition would be a new regional trade cart. Even more so than scouts, almost every region in the game has a unique trade cart variant, based around anything from a horse, human, camel, ox, or buffalo. To that end, we have the Trade Car Elephant, or Trade Cardifant. In fairness, I don't know if the driver is necessarily a big fan of his vantage point when behind an elephant, and they could maybe have one lower line of sight to reflect his blocked vision. I'm not entirely sure where you place the reins either, as this first draft looks a little odd and raises some questions about where the cart is attached, and maybe we could wrap some rope around the sides to be more clear. Either way, it's just a nice bit of regional art for a few of the elephant-focused civilizations, particularly in East Asia, where elephants have been used to pull carts or wagons throughout history, even hauling things as large as logs through rough terrain. So there's nothing strange or ahistorical about this as far as I can tell, and its lack of inclusion is just an oversight. Now though, let's switch to some military unit ideas. Playing off the idea of the battle elephant, it's often occurred to me you could probably have some decent range from the rider on top, and with the step lancer in the game already having their extra long range attack, why not extend that into the elephant lancer? It's a pretty self-explanatory idea, you just extend the battle elephant pole's reach, maybe make it a unique unit upgrade, and give them plus one or plus two range. Admittedly, throwing things from the top of an elephant probably makes more sense, but I think there's some potential to see the rider pole vault off the elephant as well and become a Kamiak style unit in a bit of a conic situation once the elephant goes down, giving an opportunity for the devs to reuse that mechanic. Another idea would be the petard elephant or petardifant. Petards in general are a bit of a historical stretch in AoE 2, especially in the Castle Age pre-gunpowder phase, but given they're already in the game, there's no question an elephant can carry more gunpowder than a person. You could just make these cost 10 times more than a petard for example, but where one detonation destroys an entire base. If the devs want to bring new players over from Age of Mythology retold into AoE 2, you have to give them familiar base-destroying sorts of power, and after using god powers in Age of Mythology, this would be a clever way to include similar sorts of devastation, but in a more grounded way. Another idea I like is a play on the Flaming Camel. This is the Tatar unique unit, which references the historical use of camels carrying straw being lit on fire and herded toward enemy elephants to scare them during the sack of Delhi. As a reference to that, the Flaming Camel has 180 total bonus damage against elephants, where it sees some niche uses competitively. My idea would be that we flip that script and make the Flaming Elephant having a corresponding 180 bonus against camels, giving it some potential poetic justice. Another very obvious idea I can't believe isn't in the game yet is fully replacing the big three siege unit lines. We already have the Elephant Ram and Scorpion variations, which are a great part of the game, but the job isn't done. What we need for things to feel complete is the Manganel variant, the Manganelephant. I'm a little suspicious about the historical accuracy of this one, but given how well the name works and rolls off the tongue alone, it's just a clearly missed opportunity to leave it out. This would be basically a tankier version of a Manganel, with an appropriate reduction in range or attack for balance, while also taking more bonus damage from anti-cavalry units. I can already hear some skepticism, but it's easily more historically accurate than World Raiders, for example. 
If you want to push things further, you can then have it upgrade or have a separate unit line for the Trebefent. It probably doesn't need the trebuchet's large cogs at the base since the elephant can rotate all on its own, and I was thinking those could be taken off to make the load a bit lighter and also better integrate it into the unit. Again, I'm not 100% sure on the historical accuracy of this one, and while small cannons are probably more realistic, this seems a lot more fun to use. Now, admittedly, I have been riffing a lot on siege ideas, and that might paint the wrong impression, that that's where things have to stop, but there are plenty of other directions to go, even inspired by existing units in the game. A great example would be the Haskarlefant, or Tuskar. Really, either name works for me. The premise is we take an elephant, but give it the pure armor of a Haskarl. This could be with custom armor scaled up to an appropriate elephant size, and then the unit given to the Goths. But I don't love that idea, given elephants for the Goths doesn't make a lot of sense historically. Maybe we could point to the Goth adjacent Vandals after invading Carthage, but it's still a bit of a stretch. Instead, what if when an elephant defeats 10 Huskarls in battle, those shields are strapped onto it, along with a helmet, and increases its pierce armor? Maybe have a transformer animation to go along with that, with then the unit renamed to the Tuskarl. Again, the goth connection historically is maybe a stretch for some people, and I get that. So for those people, a reasonable compromise then might be to have the Rattan Elephant or Rattanifant. Pretty simply, we're taking the Rattan Archer's armor and aesthetic and putting it on an elephant. It's the same high pierce armor variant idea, maybe just taking one damage per arbalester shot, combined with Vietnamese Chatras giving them high HP, really doubling down on the Vietnamese anti-archer identity. Now we don't even have to go the high pierce armor route necessarily. There's no reason you couldn't do a high melee armor variant instead, like the Teutonic Knight. Elephants with 10 melee armor might seem a little unfair, but you could always offset that with a high cost to create. Another unique unit variant could be the Mangadelephant. Perhaps if Mongols convert a stable from an elephant civilization, you can unlock this, similar to the Shalotta Warrior stable conversion idea. They keep the same bonus against Siege and have extra HP, but take more damage from halberdiers and aren't as good at hit and run. Now I hear the devs' complaints. All these civilization-specific ideas and unique units mean a lot of coding and new animations for very niche use cases. It's a fair point, and that's where the next idea comes in as a team unit, the Elefantiero. Italian allies give everyone the Condo Tiero, but if you have Italians and an Elephant Civ as an ally, they could combine their talents into a single unit. Having combined team bonuses like this is a so far unexplored part of the game that I think could bear some interesting fruit, and if anything, it's almost unrealistic that you can't do this sort of thing. In fact, the nice thing about elephants is we can do this with just about any unit and it really works seamlessly. We have elephant archers for example, so why not elephant cavalry archers as the next logical step? You just keep adding HP at the expense of speed to existing units, and there's really no limit where this can go. Admittedly, water units might be a bit of a stretch, but I've even done a quick mock-up of a potential galleyfant. The elephant is basically blow deck, sticking out its head and can puncture other ships with one of its tusks to sink them with melee damage. He can also then have a nice little drink of water every now and then using his trunk as well to keep him happy. Now while I feel like these are all totally possible and realistic avenues to expand the AW2 tech tree in a very natural feeling way, a similar thing could also work well as a potential cheat code with the Cobra Elephant. While it's not like elephants can drive cars or anything absurd like that, you could definitely paint an elephant blue and give it racing stripes for at least a 10% speed boost. The point is the 5 elephants we already have in the game are clearly just the start. The intention here was just to give a taste of the huge potential for more to be included beyond what's clearly just been so far scratching the surface, and I'd love to hear any of your own ideas you've been kicking around for elephant units. That'll do it for this one though, thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you next time.